My name is Joseph Cisneros. I was a car trader for a little more than 11 and a half years. Now, growing up in North Sacramento, where I was at, the environment wasn't too good. While I was surrounded with violence, basically I became accustomed to that. That, that became like a second nature. So I had anger issues, I liked to fight a lot. I was 19. At the time, I was young. Me and some guys went out and tried to have a good time. That good time turned into a bad time. It was me attacking somebody in a very violent way. I was incarcerated for you know, multiple charges. I still think about the victims. What I did and what we did changed their life like it changed ours. They suffered injuries and things that they shouldn't have succumbed to because of us. There's no words I could take back what I did. There's nothing I could say to so repair the damage, repair the wounds that I inflicted on them and their families. Me going to jail was a big thing. It played a big factor in a lot of people's lives. Mom, dad, my brothers, my sisters, my grandma, my grandfather. He was the only positive, real positive role model I had growing up. I knew it was like this big void that was missing. And then I didn't experience how much was missing until I came home. Yeah, excuse me, I cry about that, yeah. Every year for Thanksgiving, I would leave out a plate for him in an empty seat. Because he wasn't gone, he was just away. And for his birthday, I would make sure we had cake and ice cream. And each of us siblings every year took turns blowing out his candles. The biggest transformation I experienced was growing up. Been many years inside, and you find things to better yourself in there. Take initiative, get an education, develop a trade, and take some classes. Participated in a lot of programs such as anger management, conflict resolution, parenting classes, even though I don't have kids. One of the biggest ones was getting my GED. I just felt like I was educating myself. It was a personal accomplishment that I guess I felt like I achieved. Once I exhausted all my levels of appeals, I gave up all hope. You know, I'm never going home. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be in prison, I'm gonna die in prison. Prosecutor initiated resentencing law is a law that was created you know, to help people like me, help people get a second chance at life. It's basically in so many words, it's just a package that's asking you, what have you done to better yourself while you're incarcerated? And so I filled it out. And a month and a half later, that's when I got the news that I have a court date and possibly coming home. I found out I was going home. I broke down and I cried. I cried like a big baby, honestly. Pulled up to the front of the prison, opened up the van, opened up the cage, and then let me out. And just... Everything. My family, you know, we've always been close. I regretted many years in prison not being able to be there for you no know, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Me and my siblings were all close. It's the biggest thing to have, the best thing to have. That's the thing that kept me, kept me strong when I was in prison. I guess and then when I came home, I guess it was like whole again. The day he was released, I couldn't sleep the night before because I was so overjoyed with the very fact that he was getting out. And now everybody around him has settled down and he's enjoying the, the friendship of his siblings and his mom and dad more than ever. Joseph, when he came back, it changed a lot. I felt complete, like I had and not only my older brother, but my best friend. The person I am today is definitely not the person I was when I was 19 when I got incarcerated. I was young-minded, you know, I was senseless, you know, I had no direction in life, you know, I had no goals, no ambitions. I really didn't see where my future was going. Now I have a positive outlook on life, I have, uh, things I want to accomplish, things I want to do. I got my Class A license. I drive trucks now for Pepsi. I want to open up my own business. 
want to buy my own house. Looking forward to doing that pretty soon. People can change. People do change, you know. I'm one of those people, you know, who try to better themselves, you know. And there's many people who are just like me. Happy birthday!